Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is the UE4SMG031MP game has crashed and will close low level fatal error. So if you are receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to re simply restart your computer once. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Now, once you go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your operating system and then click on Fine. And on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce Game Ready driver, you can click on View and then click on Download. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. When you run the exe file, click on yes to allow and then click on OK. Click on agree and continue and then set a custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. Once done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box, then click on graphic settings. And then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed you can in my case this is the location so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added scroll down click on the game and then over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now again click on add desktop app open smg folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add scroll down and then again click on the game select high performance now relaunch the game and then check now desktop users make sure that you connect your display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot and then launch the game next step is to do not use dx11 in the launch option so in steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option if you're using this dx11 do not use it because you will receive error so you can just make a right click and then go to properties and you can remove this dx11 from the launch option because you will receive error you can remove this dx11 from the launch option and then you have to instead you can use dx here you can see you will receive this error so you can instead you can go to steam make a right click in the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then you check you can check you should not receive that error and still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to try launching the game from nvidia app so if you have nvidia app installed in your computer you can launch nvidia app and then you can go to home and over here if you see the game over here you can click on play over here launch the game from here if that does not work you can go to settings and then once you select the game over here on the right hand side you will see optimize option so if you see optimize option on the right hand side click on optimize you will see optimize like this so i don't see optimize for uh, like little nightmares too but if you see optimize like this you can click on optimize and then now if the game is already optimized in that case you can revert the optimization and then you can close nvidia app and then you can check now the next step is to try debug mode now for this you can go to desktop make a right click on the desktop go to show more option and then click on nvidia control panel and then go to manage 3d settings and then first of all restore the settings so click on restore go to global settings and then click on restore click on yes and at the bottom right you will see up, apply option hit apply and then relaunch the game and then check if that does not work uh, you can go to help option at the top left and then click on debug mode. So if debug mode is unchecked, you can put a check on debug mode and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename the config folder. When you rename the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. Now to rename the config folder, you can go to file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show. Put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, local folder, and then 
open little nightmares three folder save folder over here you can see config uh, folder you can make a right click and then you can rename this all the saved settings will be lost and then relaunch the game and then check still not working rename the save game files now when you rename the save game files all the save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first so you can go back in this location select the game folder make a right click copy it copy the folder and then paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can make a right click on the game and then you can click on rename rename the save game files and then relaunch the game you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch and then you can check still not working verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now, instead of launching the game from Steam, you can make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files, and then make a double click, launch the game from here, and then check. If that does not work, you can make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working. Open this SMG folder, binaries, Win64. Make a right click on this exe file, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again and this time you can select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow add in allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file click on open Again, add an allowed app, browse all apps, open SMG folder, binaries, Win64, select this exe file, click on open. And then once it is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Change settings, allow another app, click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open click on add in my case it is already added allow another app once again browse and then open smg binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add again in my case it is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow both the exe file to your antivirus program Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015 to 22. Download this x86 and x64. You have to install both the files, x86 and x64. Click on it, uh, run the exe file, click on repair. If you see repair, if you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install, click on install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, then restart again. game. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound over here and then go to power options. And over here, if you see power saver, you can select power saver, relaunch the game. You can even go for balanced or high performance, but first of all, try power saver and check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to, or you can simply type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. And then click on advanced graphics settings over here. And if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on, relaunch the game and then check. If it is already on, turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to disable or enable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. If 
enable the steam overlay while while in game is already on you can turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already off you can turn it on and then check so try both on and off close all the overlay application like if you have discord run go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay close all the overlay application and then check do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner rewatt tuner any kind of other overclocking application running close it next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate so this is just an example if your monitor refresh rate refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try 120 or 60 hertz and then check next step is to make changes in the registry editor now for this you can type in registry editor in window search box make a right open registry editor and then go to this location that is hk local machine system current control set control graphics driver now once you go to the graphics driver once you select graphics driver over here then on the right hand side you will see tdr delay or tdl level if you don't have it so let me show you you may or may not have it so for example if you don't have it i'm just showing i don't have it in that case make a right click then select new and then you can do what 32 bit value and then you can name this as tdr delay where capital where the t is in capital d is in capital tdr delay make a double click you can set the value data to zero over here and then click on ok and then again you create a new entry make a right click new d word 32 bit value name this as tdr level and then make a double click you can set the value data to zero hexadecimal click on ok restart your computer and then check you can even try decimal set it to zero for both tdr delay and tdr level then restart your computer and then you can check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on okay click on okay over here hit apply click on okay okay you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to update the windows to the latest version for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here so once the installation is 100% complete restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you're able to launch the game try window mode and lower now video settings now once you launch the game you can go to settings and then go to video over here 
and for display mode you can if this is set to full screen uh, you can try window mode over here and then you can lower down resolution like if this is set to 4k uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and for entire analyzing, I have set to TA. Uh, so if this is set to DLSS frame generation, uh, you can try this TAA and then you can check. You can even uh, try XESS and then check. And if you're selecting FSR, uh, you can set this to quality. Uh, sorry, you can set it to medium. And if you're using DLSS, in that case, you can again set this to medium and then you can check. You can try VSync on and off both. So if this is on, you can turn it off and then check. If it is already on, you can turn it off. Frame rate, I will just, you can set it to maybe 60. I will set it to 60 and then go to advanced option. Apply the settings and then. Now, if the quality is set to like high, uh, if it is set to ultra, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium and then apply the settings and then check the performance. Now, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect the dongle for the controller. Disconnect external keyboard and mouse. So if you have key chrome keyboard or razor huntsman keyboard or mouse, you can disconnect it. Disconnect the dongle for this these keyboard and then relaunch the game. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game and then you can install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.